or one second past. But big, big welcome to the K's Flower School live demonstration class. And today we're going to do a grave arrangement. So obviously chill with us. Anybody there that maybe wants to take part, I did give you a breakdown yesterday and the day before of what ingredients you could use. But remember, the handiest thing to do is if you share this video to your own social media page, you will be able to re-watch it again. And then you can fast forward or rewind it to the parts that you need. So first of all, to get this party rolling, is everybody introduce themselves and let us know who you are, where are you watching in from, what part of the world you're residing in, and obviously what's the weather like. So here in Dublin, the weather was pretty nippy here this morning. I have to say, it's still pretty cold out. The sun is shining. Like if you looked out the window, you think, oh, it's a glorious day. But absolutely, that saying, do not pass. What did he say? Don't shed a cloud till May cloud is out. Till May is out. I tell you, you'd want the brass knickers on you this morning. It's absolutely freezing out. Pauline is watching it from sunny Newbridge. She's saying hello. Sabrina is watching in. Anne Armstrong says hi, girls. Jackie over on Instagram says um, happy Friday. You're pretty and pink today. Um, on TikTok, we'd love a few of you to invite people to let them know we've gone live. We've nobody watching over on YouTube, so we'd love oh, somebody to tune YouTube. in close on YouTube and let us know. Yes, somebody's saying just back from shopping here in Hartpool. And um, thanks a million, June, for joining us. And Anne is up in Belfast and she says the weather is the same as ours. Yeah, seems to be the same all over. So I did promise you that we were going to have a giveaway today so we got on to emma fitzpatrick who works for 11 pr events she actually owns she owns 11 pr events okay so at the moment there is a new company i need everybody to tag this company okay there's a new irish company so that's really important has opened here in ireland and they're called the at sign daisy bell.ie so daisy d-a-i-s-y for flowers and, and bell b-e-l-l-e dot ie will somebody there tag them in the comments okay as many of you tag them in the comments and later on make sure pop over to their page they're both on facebook and on instagram and follow them okay so to explain about this company it's like a one-stop shop you know the way sometimes you kind of need like you need your moisturizer you need shampoo you need hand soap you need sanitizer you need false tan you know there's a list of things that you need and you're kind of saying i'm not in the humor of having to go out to the shops well, where you can literally go online to one shop, you know what I mean? And you can buy all your beauty products, but obviously they have makeup brands. So they have lots and lots of different brands as well. So they've sent out a sample, okay? But um, as I know Emma and she um, put a few extra things into the box. So I'll give you an idea. And right? we know that because the box doesn't close. The box doesn't close. <laughs> so, but I do have bigger boxes and I'll package it into a bigger box and I'll post it out to our wording. Leanne is watching over. Oh, we have a few people on YouTube now is watching from Sunny Devon over on YouTube. And Joe Muldrew said it's crystal clear over here on YouTube. Brilliant. Um, just, sorry, a lot more weather forecast coming in. But over in Birmingham, there's a few people watching from Birmingham. The weather seems to be beautiful. And somebody's watching from Argentina, from Australia, from Derbyside and from Cavan. Well, so we're from all parts of the world. Even Cavan got a little sneak in there. So to go through the products, we have Sanctuary Spa. Now, I use Sanctuary Spa. This is their hand wash. And I tell you, the scent off that is amazing. Deirdre uses this stuff. I think Deirdre's a bit menopausal and she doesn't sleep at night. Now, I'm not menopausal, okay? <laughs> this is a lavender sleep mist, okay? If you spray that on your pillow or even on the top of your duvet that you're going to drag up around you, you know that way, I tell you, guaranteed a great night's sleep after that. We have Saint-Tropez false tan. So seeing the weather is going to be shite in Ireland. We're not going to get any sun. Everybody needs their own. And Avis tan. is watching greetings from New Zealand. When we're going to have frost tonight. Well, see, they're getting the winter. I, think. I suppose coming into their winter. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we got frost here as well. A facial cleans cleansing gel. And this is brilliant. This stuff is from Dirty Works, okay? They have a full range. You may have seen there a while ago, I showed their bubble bath. Oh, the scent of it is amazing. But that's a body scrub. So anybody wants to get rid of any dead skin and a hand cream. So after sanitizing your hands for the last two years, you definitely- Well, I think a hand cream is something all flowers all need. All flowers need a decent hand cream. Now these shampoos are amazing. John Frieda, I actually use these myself. And I also use the serum, okay? That's available from this company as well. So there's a shampoo and a conditioner so is there anybody watching there greasy hair needs a good wash you know that way shampoo and conditioner for you and we're going I, to tell you now in a few minutes how you can win this i can never pronounce this i take it in tablet form and i use it in syrup form this is liquid 
What's it called, Deirdre? Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. This is for plumping out your skin and making you look youthful and young. We obviously bathe in the hair at Case last <laughs> I've heard this is amazing. You take a little shot, you think it's a Sambuca in the morning with your cornflakes, you knock it back, and I tell you, your skin plumps out. Me and Deirdre need a bottle of that. And you know what? This is a bit of a surprise. It's um, This is a spritz for your bits, okay? So put your own meaning on that and what you would use that for. But it does sound a little bit interesting. Is it a his and a hers, I'd say? I'd say it's just a hers. So it's a spritz for your bits. So anybody that's watching, do you need your spritz for your bits? Do you need your bits spritz? <laughs> <laughs> do you need to have a sleep? Have you, do you need a scrub? Do you need your hands softened? Anybody with greasy hair? Who needs false tan? Who needs some cleansing gel? And who needs a... Jenny said hyaluronic acid acts like a sponge and helps retain moisture. There you go. There's somebody there. I bet she bathes in it as well. So as you can see, it doesn't fit in the box, but we put it in a bigger box. And we're going to add, obviously, we're the flare business. We need to add a few flary items. So we have, obviously, our... Um, crystal earth as we call it our swell gel we flare food stem stripper posy dish anchor tape hand tight string spray tray and your own personal floristry apron okay we can obviously personalized as in case flare school personalized so i'm going to lash all this stuff into the bag and we will be giving you details how you can win all these items okay so right across the board on instagram and tiktok and youtube and all the rest um, we have a little video coming up later, isn't it? Yeah. Explain it, yeah, so later on, on our Facebook and on our Instagram, um, there will be a video posted with Jeanette talking about the products that you can win. And what we want, we want to, you can either win it for yourself or win it for somebody else. But I want to te either tell us why you should win it or why somebody else should win it, now who you want to here. send it to. Where can we get the special post up, okay? Because then it'll be obviously easier because there'll be too many comments here today. And we need them to tag Daisy Bell on that post also. But so you can tag it, you here as you well. Can tag, tag here too. Well. Uh, Julie Crawford said, oh my God, what a great surprise. It is a great prize. It's Paula brilliant. says a fabulous prize. And it everybody is. say thanks to Emma from 11 PR events and you were going, woohoo. Uh, Jenny okay. wants to know where do people live? We'll post it worldwide. Yeah, worldwide we'll post it. Yeah, Emma said, don't worry about it, just post it worldwide. And she said send the bill to her, wasn't And it? send the bill Absolutely. to her, that's it. Great, and customs and all will be paid. So you know the way normally we're only about the customs, like no expenses being spared. Actually, I think Daisy Bell is going to sponsor the post. They might even do. Absolutely. Right, what are we going to do? Is everybody sharing? Is everybody interacting? There's no point in me coming on here if I'm not getting the interaction. Eileen Morgan Freeman says, hyaluronic acid is there for cries of glory for flares and prevents the moisture loss. A bit of quick dip there. Uh, a bit of quick dip on <laughs> well, Maybe that bits for your bits is... Put some <laughs> perk in your mirror. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a double spray tray today. I have the floral foam soaked. I'm going to make this a little bit... It's not going to be huge, you know what I mean? But just a little bit bigger, so bear with me. This might go on a little bit longer than normal. Um, I have an anchor taped in, foam is soaked, and I'm now just going to trim the foam. You don't have to trim the foam. I always like to trim the foam. I just kind of feel I get a better shape um, when I display. I'm just thinking I haven't got any ribbon organised, but sure, listen, we can do it. It'll be all right on the night. You have the hessian there around. beside you. Yeah, actually, you have yeah. the hessian from little. Okay, so I'm going to use some bottle brush foliage. So the first piece of foliage that we're going to put in can be only a maximum of 15 inches. I'm going to talk inches. I'm not even going to try and convert it into centimetres. I don't want to wreck my brain or I'll be drinking that hyaluronic acid myself. So I have a long piece there, about 15 inches approximately, which is... Don't know, many centimetres. I haven't a clue. I haven't got a clue. It's actually more than 30 centimetres. Some of our Einsteins there convert 15 inches into centimetres. And when I call out the inches, you convert it to centimetres for me. I now have two pieces approximately the same length. And in with at the oasis near my stomach, okay? So I'm going to keep the container this direction. So the oasis near my stomach, down here. And I'm going to point these two pieces of greenery, okay, facing kind of like in your direction. So everything that I put into this arrangement today is pointing towards yourselves, okay, towards the camera. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some extra pieces. And these are all resting down on the table. And it's really, really important that you do rest them on the table. Now I'm using the bottle brush because, again, if you've been watching... Greenery is shite in Ireland at the moment, and it's because really it's all shooting and it's all kind of like growing at the moment. So a lot of the growers, most of the growers, all of the growers, they're not cutting the foliage, okay? Because otherwise they have no foliage to flog to us when it comes to August or September. 
And bottle brush kind of seems the best of the worst at the moment. So eucalyptus is absolutely fabulous for doing this display. Now you're not supposed to like lift up an arrangement when you're making it, but I'm just going to try and lift that up slightly that they can see it. Can they kind of yeah, get an angle? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. I'm gonna put a lot of flowers into this arrangement. So now I'm this gonna is going to be a big one, really. This is going to be a big one, okay? Not huge, but a little bit bigger than I suppose I normally do. But it is going to take a little bit longer. So listen, don't be sneaking off there and now leave me here on my own. Anybody there that's watching, make sure that you share this in your flower clubs, in your gardening clubs, or um, any clubs that you're in, even your knitting clubs, you share it there. 15 inches is 40 centimetres. Lolly on uh, YouTube is keeping us updated. Fair Thank you so you. much. I knew we'd have some brainy students uh, there. Paula is watching in from rainy Pennsylvania in the USA, and Sharon is watching in from Leeds. Okay, what I've been doing now is I've been cutting pieces. Some of them are at probably around, again, Lily can convert this in a second, 10 to 12 inches, you know, that way. And you can see these are all down near my stomach, okay? Near the bottom of the floral foam. But again, everything you can see is pointing in your direction. So watch when I hold this arrangement up. Can you see the angle down here where this thumb is wiggling? Because this is a ton weight, by the way. Everything is pointing in that direction, right? So now I'm back to kind of a couple of longer pieces. So I'm cutting these about 12 inches, okay? So Lily, you do the conversions for us, okay? Thanks. So 12 inches, okay? I'm cutting some of these. And I'm obviously, because I'm not measuring them, they're not exact. So Lily might say, Jenny matching out, I think that one is about 15 or that one's about eight. It doesn't matter. Be very casual. And anyway, I'm in a bit of a panic because I know this one is going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so Michelle said it's nice and attractive. And um, we'd love a few more likes up on our TikTok. So the likes are a bit low on TikTok today. Come on, so TikTok, get moving there. And on YouTube, we got quite a few stickers the other day. So a few more stickers would be nice over on YouTube as well. We're a bit mean, needy, aren't we? A bit peggy, very Maggie. Very needy here today. today we are. Very needy. So what I'm doing there is you can see the way I started. I need a few more in there in a second, right? And I have them all kind of going in line, but everything is looking to you, right? So whether you're on the south, the east, the west, America, Australia, New Zealand, and even Cavan, you know that way? Everything is going in your direction. Eileen says 10 to 12 inches is 25 to 30 centimeters. Fair play to you. That's the brains over in Birmingham. So again, I'm adding in a few more in here. I know you're probably saying, God, there's a lot of floral foam still showing, but it's going to be covered in with a lot of the flowers, you know what I mean, that I put in. And I'm going to use a selection of flowers for this display and um, kind of keeping it seasonal, kind of like summer flowers. June said she shared to her friends and um, community groups. Fair play to you, really appreciate that. Absolutely. And we'll remember your name when we're picking the winners. Oh, we will. <laughs> now, something else. Do you see all the stalks, okay, off the bottle brush, right? I want you to hold on to all them stalks. So you know the way normally I say about the magic bin on the floor, that one we just went in the magic bin, right? So what you're going to do is don't throw these in the bin, cut them all up, okay? So I'm just gathering them all up before I put all the ones I don't want in the magic bin. There we go, don't want them ones, hide them. There we go, and there's our little stock. So hold on to them, I'll need them in a little while. I'll have a container here. So the next thing I want to go on to now is the September flower, okay? Or what you might call aster. Now again, Nicomas Daisy is another name for this flower, so that's what it looks like there. And just that, um, it is covered, that's, I added that one, I actually added it this morning to the free tutorial. Okay, so anybody that has already uh, uploaded the tutorial online program that we gave you the other day with all the treatment and the conditioning of flowers, you probably have realized it's a little bit more than just treatment and conditioning of flowers because we gave you its botanical name, we gave you its common name, we gave you its meaning, we told you what time of the year it's available, we told you when it peaks in season, we told you what it could be used for, we gave you suggestions on, you know, the treatment and the conditioning of it, you know, that we absolutely told you everything. And since you uploaded it the other day, there's loads of new ones after being added. And what I've just done there is put in a long piece of green meat down at the Can 12. Can I get you to move yeah, over to the right? Over That's it. There. Perfect. Yeah. And I've also put in just the two corners. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm following the exact same system that I did with the green meat. Do you remember I had all these pieces of green meat lying down on the table? So I'm going to cut like loads and loads of long ones. Okay. So I'll cut these up here. 
and I'm going to stick them all in kind of along the bottom sides of the arrangement. And it's really important when you're doing this display is that you keep all the pieces resting flat on the table. So don't have anything sticking up in the air. Now while I'm demonstrating this, if you have any questions regarding this arrangement, put it in the comments there and I'll respond back to you. Now if I miss it, you know what I mean, because it'll be fairly busy here today because you're all going to be sharing it and commenting and tagging Daisy Bell. So if Deirdre misses the question, do you know that way? The thing is, I'll respond to them all tonight. As you know, we go back to all the comments at night time and we answer absolutely everybody. So I'm going along the stems there. I'm kind of cutting off all the side pieces. I probably could have had this done in advance, but sure I didn't, okay? So I'm cutting off all them little side pieces. And some of them, as I'm cutting them off, are a little bit longer than others, and others are a little bit shorter. But if you've ever seen me, I mean, some of you have, I'm very casual about how I kind of work, right? Okay, so, Tracy's asking, may I ask why you're only going in one way, please? That's the surprise of this arrangement. You have to hang on, hang on to your knickers there for another few minutes, okay? And I'll work as quick as I can. Any of these longer ones that I take up, I'm going to place them on the floor, on the kind of bottom sides of the arrangement. Where any of these kind of shorter ones, do you remember where I said down near my belly, kind of pointing in your direction? I'm going to use a row of them there. And I'm a bit like that when I'm doing flower arranging. Where I kind of find when people do flower arranging is they cut a flower to fit in a particular spot. Where I just cut up all the flowers. And then I have them in my hand and I say, and I'll find a spot for you, and I'll find a spot for you, and I'll find a spot for you, and I'll find a spot, there's a nice long one, I'll find a spot for you up there, and I'll find a spot for you over there. Just see the way, as the flare comes out of my hand, a little short one, you're going to go down there. Kind of like short one again, you'll come down here as well, and so will you. This one's kind of mediumish, I'll put you there, and so on. So at the moment, I have quite a lot resting on the table. I've another few spots where I could do a bit. I have a little bit down here all facing towards you and I'm going to lift this up kind of like just so you can kind of see the angle of it. Hopefully that kind of works. It is quite heavy and it is going to be quite big. But remember with the um, the foliage, the way I kind of started here and I kept working back towards my stomach, you know, that way. So that's what I'm going to do now, exactly the same thing again. So all the foliage is inserted on an angle. And any of you that are all hepped up about measurements and cutting things and getting them the right length, you'll realise Jeanette doesn't give a shite about lengths. Get it in, get it done, get it fast and make loads and loads of money on it, okay? That's how you make money in the floristry business. Now, I'm not saying just feck it in any old way, but feck it in kind of any old way <laughs> and it will work for you. The only thing that you have to worry about is that you keep everything, if any gobshite sticks it up that way, you're completely wrong. Keep everything lying down and more or less you can't go wrong. Now I've used September flare here, but what would be brilliant as well is wax flare. Now the only thing is wax flare is not great at the moment, it's out of season, it's not really that available, and anything that is available is not really the best. You know that way, there's hardly any flare on it, it's all kind of like foliage, so it kind of finds like it's not great. So um, just go and buy the September flare. All things beautiful says, sorry if she's joining late, watching from London and have you cast something to television. Karen Johnson is watching from her hospital bed, waiting ah. to get her appendix out. Oh my God. I hopefully you're not too bad and hopefully you're not too sore. And Anne Marie is saying she joined, she's joining her local flare club next week and she'll be telling them all about us. Oh, Make sure you join into the flurry fun group as well, Anne Marie, because over on Facebook, you'll pick up loads there. Um, it's already so pretty, Jenny is saying. Now, all and go down into the magic bin, all the rubbish, and we're ready now for another little bit of a... Just turn it nice. sideways, just to, yeah. There we no, go. sort of on it. Yeah, that, that no, sideways. Yeah, perfect. There yeah, there we can I'm, see. I'm kind of looking in. I can see a few cop on spots, but sure, I have loads more material to put into this. Paula okay. said, I'm glad to hear that you cut you cut, and then find a spot. That's how she arranges as well. It's the best way, you know what I mean? Like um, when I start off with the students, you know, when I'm training them in, and they'd say to me like, you know, what length is that? And I said, it's around that length, you know, that way. And if it's a bit longer, it's a bit shorter. Like people get too fussy about lengths and measurements, you know? And then what ends up is your arrangements can look very formal looking. Where if you kind of want it to be a little bit more casual, you know, that way you'll get away with order. So I'm cutting, I'm starting now with a couple of Lysiantus, okay? And I'm gonna bring a long Lysiantus. You'll find I keep repeating the same system, okay? So I have this long piece of Lysiantus, which is down there where that first piece of bottle brush was, and the first piece of September flare was. And guess what the next spot is? I'm now going for the two sides of the arrangement, okay? 
So again, down here near my belly, okay? I'm adding in, the belly is getting smaller by the way. Do you all notice that? The belly is definitely getting smaller. Huge thanks to the feckin' devils that I have to go to in the morning. But anyway, fair play to them, I am getting there. So now I'm going to add a few more of the Lysianthus along the sides of the arrangement. And again, these are all resting on the table. Do you know that way? So they're down low on the table, sitting on top of the bottle brush, sitting on top of the September flower. Sometimes it's coming out past the September flower. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter than the September flower. And that's all just, and sometimes it's going to be on top like this one. And that's just because I either cut it too short or I cut it too long. Do you know that way? But you'll get away with murder. So I have a good few kind of resting along the bottom. I'd love another long one up the top there. And then what I'm going to move on to is the bottom part down on my stomach. You know, this kind of frill along the very bottom part of the arrangement. So All things beautiful, said Jeanette. You look beautiful. Ah, thanks a million. Do you know, you're, you're a right pet to her. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is a couple of shorter flowers kind of in this area here, making that little frill, which you could see when I held it up. Okay, I have a few kind of like longer ones here and I'll just add them through the arrangement. Again, you can see everything is lying down on a slant. Somebody's probably going to tell me I'm talking too fast now. They probably are, but <laughs> they, they always are. do. Or you're talking too much. Um, I'm talking too much or talking too fast. Paula says it looks spectacular. She loves the colours. Wait till you see when it's finished, Paula. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Um, over on TikTok, Brian is watching in from Toronto and Canada. Hey, Brian, how are you? Um, over on, oh, we've actually quite a few people watching over on YouTube now. We're up to 17 on YouTube. So we never have many people watching on YouTube. So we love to build that audience and like our TikTok audience. So a few more hearts on TikTok now, guys, would be lovely. And many of you got up on TikTok Brian says he's good. As in, you know all the followers. Um, oh, on followers, I think we're up to 70,000 on TikTok. Yeah. Um, become a little Instagram Instagram blogger next that's it. a TikTok blogger a TikTok next. blogger that's it I tell you now if we got that spritz your bits now we took a few videos <laughs> of you spritzing your bits I'd say Jamie Mac the followers at Case Blair School will be unbelievable Brian says he loves all the information that you give out Jay is watching in from the Philippines over on TikTok hey James how are you I wonder is that more uh, Mary Lonergan's son is it oh it could do be do you talk Mandarin over there do you they loved my Mandarin class the other night and I know one of the girls actually said she sent it to her son who actually speaks Mandarin so again just to look at it sideways can you see everything is going in one direction and I know that's going to drive you as mad okay so just bear with me okay um, I'll get rid of that later on so again hopefully the shape is kind of starting to take shape the okay next, uh, sorry just on tiktok we've loads of people coming in now we have tam is in from new jersey we have barbara from mayo we've pot puts from romania and um, tuning in and Thank on instagram i hope i'm alive to make my own having watched this stunning arrangement this is one grave now so you're right back and funny one now if you're still alive when you're making this one you probably could do this, not that you probably could. You could do this on a smaller scale and it could be used for other occasions. But the one that I'm actually doing at the moment is to go on a grave or on top, but I don't want to make a morbid class. So I didn't want to kind of say it's for a funeral. So that's why I said remembrance, you know, that way it kind of sounded a little bit nicer, didn't it? So maybe any of you there that um, go to visit a grave, you know, and you'd like to bring flowers, maybe it's a family member or somebody very close to you. Or your own grave if you want to. Maybe have your grave bought in advance. Um, <laughs> and you could keep it decorated. Um, it's like it's kind of I won't turn around and say it's really easy. It's a little bit more difficult than some of the designs I have showed you before, but I don't think anybody will have any problem. Now what I'm adding in now is the stock, okay? The scent of this is amazing. So I started off with a pointish one up there, but I just didn't want to hide the Lysiantus. I kind of have the two corner ones. I got one about in the middle, and then I'm just going to add it because I've only got all these ones left. I've only got one left. I'm just going to add this in about this area here. So it's all just about And just again, the flowers. stock video has been added to the free tutorial for anyone that's interested. And if anybody hasn't yet uploaded the free tutorial on treatment, conditioning, availability, longevity, uh, the meaning of tips. the flowers, hot tips, magic tips, you name it. All you have to do is write in the comments there that you'd love the link, that you want the link. Can you get the link? Whatever it is, comment something with the word link, you know, that way. And um, we'll respond to you. It'll be later on this evening, okay? But we will respond to you. And Pop Puts on TikTok says, I own a flower shop over here in Romania and she and they love our videos. Ah, um, TikTok people use, not use funny names, but they use letters and numbers and stuff like that. So there's somebody, L or, and they're, hello from Ireland. 
Um, over on Facebook, sorry, so we have, just trying to find us here. Oh, Noreen, beautiful arrangement. She's watching from Spain. Bernie is watching from Donegal. Cherry uh, Floral Design says she's already bought her grave. Um, my mother in law got her grave as a wedding present. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you telling me that. What yeah. I'm now doing, just anybody that's watching, my dear, just going through all the comments there. I'm adding a few of the ice cream tulips, you know, that way in and out through this. Now, again, it doesn't have to be the ice cream ones whatever tulips you happen to have you know that way or again whatever flowers happens to be in season or it's a, or that's available now i just want to turn this around a little bit just so i can have a look at it from my angle do you know that way and i just added a few more has any bright spark to ask me how many flares i've used no but eileen says um not being not that i'm planning to depart anytime soon but you know would you travel to birmingham to do my funeral arrangements <laughs> no bother at all to you, just Eileen. give us no plenty bother. notice eileen will you just when it's sure got it's a free bar <laughs> <laughs> because I tell you, it can be closely worked doing these flare arrangements. Absolutely. Um, no Adele is asking on TikTok, can you recommend any wholesaler in Ireland that sells to the public? No, because they're wholesalers. Yeah, wholesalers <laughs> don't sell to the public. Um, for some of the sundry items, I named them at the beginning and maybe some of the girls tagged them. If they're watching again, they're Celine or Jackie. Is, can you tag their evergreen silk plants for me? And can you tag um, AM Floral Sundries? And they all will sell to the public as in uh, sundry wise, okay? But you do find for fresh flowers, because I know somebody was contacting us yesterday, the majority of the fresh flower wholesalers only deal with people who are in the trade or maybe registered for VAT. Now, wholesaleflowers.ie that are in Sandyford, they actually deal with the public, they do. They do, actually. And yeah. then they courier the flowers to you. So will somebody tag them in the comments there, put the at sign, wholesaleflowers.ie. And then um, you can organise and they'll, they'll absolutely send them to you. So there we have a couple of tulips. I'm looking for cop on spots, Deirdre. So give us a few bits of um, Let me see, whatever. let me see. Just here on the, the... That side's there. That side. There we go. And probably around the same place on the other yeah, side. So absolutely. close to you. Right, yo. So now we're going to move on to something else. Go on, you keep Oh, pop, pop puts on the Romanian over on TikTok. Their name is Alexandra. So thanks for that. And they were saying that they, you can... Unfortunately, in Romania, the wholesalers sell to the public and it creates an awful lot of competition for flowers, which in fairness is the truth, you know, yeah. and that's why what we find is a lot of the um, the few wholesalers like wholesale flowers that do sell to the public, they do have different rates, yeah. you know, so although they're, you have to buy in bigger quantities than you would in a flower shop, but you're not getting wholesale, wholesale prices either if you're not a wholesaler. Um, let me that was just see. a couple of peonies going down through the arrangement. Again, the scent of this is amazing. And the rule would always be bigger flowers to the bottom and smaller flowers to the top. So you can see the way I kind of graded the peonies. Remember me saying, it's a bit like my body. Now, my body is getting smaller down around my arse, okay? <laughs> but normally, I have a small head. The boobs are shrinking as well. But I had bigger boobs and I always had a much fatter arse than the rest of me. And I'm sure 90% of you that are watching, okay, unless you're... You're really tragically sad, okay? But normally, most women are kind of like get fatter and wider. Most men are the same as well. So think of that with your flare arrangements. When you're grading your flowers, big flowers to the bottom and small flowers to the top. I have a couple of fabulous roses. These are the um, blank. Sweet avalanche. Sweet avalanche roses. Again, all will remind me of Amy Huberman's wedding. Do you remember when she got married and she had these roses and they became so popular? I'm just removing the guard petals. But if you download that program that I talked to you about earlier on that you can get for free, um, I have all in about removing the guard petals. You know that way for your roses. So I'm just adding, again, a couple of the roses. And because that one was more blown, you can see the way I kept it down near the bottom of the arrangement. And this one actually is a... This is um, it, it must have slipped in. This is a Mont Blanc, Mont, Mont Marty, isn't it? Mont, Mont Marty, yeah. Think of that place in Paris <laughs> that you have to walk up loads of steps to see. Is it Christ the Cathedral or Christ the Church? Oh right, or right. Um, so that's it's a VIP rose. I have a couple of them there for something else. And um, they are fabulous roses when they blow open. So just in case anybody just likes to colour that Patricia rose. says she's loving the colours and the foliage and the variety. She'd love the link. Um, so we will reply back to you shortly, yep. Patricia, with the link. And she's watching it from Donegal. We have Irene is watching them from South Africa. Um, I love sharing. Come on, tell me there who's sharing. You know that Eileen has given us plenty of notice. 2064, she says she'll be 101. Oh, that's the year you're going to die, isn't it? 
Yeah. That's the year she's going to die. Fair play to you. I'll be all organised for you. Jeannie Mac, 2064. What age will I be? <laughs> you might be only dying, but I tell you, I'll be a right smell of me at that stage. <laughs> I think I might be well dead at that stage. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, listen, it's good to have the crack. So remember, we have that amazing giveaway prize, okay, from Daisy Bell. So again, anybody that's watching there, tag Daisy Bell for us, okay? It's an Irish company. They're just you, starting out, so yeah, give them a follow. Yeah, like support them. Support the Irish companies, okay? So it's an Irish company, one-stop shop, where you can basically buy all your beauty products. So pop over to their website and have a look. You know, they pop over to their Facebook page and their Instagram page and follow them. So whether you want your false tan, your hand wash, or a spritz your bits, or blitz your bits, or whatever it's called, sounds very exciting. We're going to have a quick look at it later on, and you never know, we might do a little video. Um, but definitely it can be something, you know I mean, it's an amazing prize. And we will post, as soon as we're finished here today, we will post um, up a little video for everybody to comment underneath. We'll do it right across the social media pages so that it's very fair. It'll be then announced on Monday will be the winner. I'm not finished this, by the way. We'll announce the winner on Monday and um, we'll post it worldwide, whoever is the winner. So remember back at the beginning, I said, hold on to your rubbish. You see, hold on to your stems. The reason why I wanted you to do this, and you know what I'm going to be missing, dear, but it's a bit of moss, okay? Is I'm going to pretend that the stalks have come out one end of the arrangement and they've come out the opposite end. So I call this arrangement um, a mock hand tied arrangement. Now for anybody that lives in Dublin, so again, give me a bit of feedback, you know what I mean, and see do you agree with me. In Dublin, when something is not real, as a kid, and this is a made up word by the way, when we were kids, we used to say, it's not real, it's let none, right? Let none, that's how we used to say it, okay? Somebody might spell that in the comments for us. And let none meant it was kind of pretend, okay? Or obviously, it wasn't real. So this is a mock hand tied, as in a pretend hand tied arrangement. Now, if you've done hand tied bouquets with me, the idea was that it was a bouquet of flowers with the stems, the natural stems that you stick in water, coming out the other end. Where what I'm doing here is obviously they are the stems of the flowers, but they're not the stems of them particular flowers, well, of some of them. I'm just trying to give the effect, and then what I'm doing now is I'm stepping up on the floral foam on this end. David's just gone looking for a bit of moss for me, you know that way? So hopefully, can you find anything? No, you know, just check that this is still on the camera that the, with the parts that I'm doing because this okay. is really important that they're able to see this area. Hopefully you sir. Can you see it? Yep. Brilliant. Yep, we can okay. see it. So what I've done there is I've kind of stepped up with a second row of sticks and now I'm going to step up on the floral foam again with another row of sticks, okay? And um, what else could it be? The straw. Oh, look, there's moss there on that. They could probably add some of that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fair play, yeah. Talk about the remnants. So that's what I'm doing there is I'm sticking all the stems of the flowers. Now, it's really important that you step them up the way I'm doing it there. Is that you don't just, sometimes you keep it like a pancake, you know, like the first row. It's important that you step up, step up, step up. And these kind of wooden st stems that I have here, these are actually off the bottle brush foliage from the very, very beginning, you know, because I, I knew I would need them. So that's, again, I'll just try and hold this up there just to kind of give you an idea. So I've added another, what, 12 inches yeah. onto the end of that arrangement. So do you remember I said, like, I started off with a double spray tray, but I went to 15 inches down that end, and now I'm kind of going... And guys, for any of you that are watching on Facebook, YouTube, our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, you're watching this horizontal. If you did want to watch this stage of it over on YouTube, it's actually a better view because it's... Um, Landscape is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah landscape, it's landscape. Yeah. So um, you, you you probably see it a little bit better. Again, anyone has any questions? I've another bit more still to do with it to get it to finish. Are you enjoying it? Are you liking it? Are you learning anything? And do you have any questions? So again, keep responding back to me. And also in the meantime, let's keep tagging Daisy Bell, okay? Because again, they are sponsoring today's event, okay? They're giving an amazing hamper of beauty products. So let's kind of show them that we're all happy and delighted because we might get one next week, you know, that way, hint, hint, tip, tip, right? So everybody ticked it, our tip tag daisy bell in the comments there and as i said i'll have you know be able to enter the competition later on yeah no they're loving it um eileen says she says 
Just seeing you briefly, dear. <laughs> Does she look great? She she's says, after been swimming in that hyal hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. acid. Doesn't she look amazing? Mary Flynn says in Cork, we it would be called Machia. So Machia. Let Let is Machia in Cork, right? Okay. Anybody else? So what we have here is a couple of florist wires. Probably don't need as many of them. I'm cutting these into two-inch pieces. So where's your one Louise or Lisa on TikTok there for a conversion, right? So about two-inch pieces, I'm cutting up these pieces of wire. And what I'm then going to do to them is bend them over in half, okay? Now, you might find this hard to do. I need my hand cream after this, right? I'm bending them over in half, and I'm making, like, what we call hairpin bends, or what we call them here in the florist business, are mossing pins, okay? So, when you did see briefly see Deirdre that time, we had to get her to come on the camera, because I'm sure you all want to see her. She's after losing loads of weight, she is. She looks absolutely amazing, and she's lost about 20 years off her face as well. Do you know the way? She looks fantastic. Patricia Sim says, you need a big trailer to transport this. It'll certainly cover a grave, um, and what a and great that idea. the idea is, you know, like, we say a grave is six foot six, I presume, seven foot. Well, my husband's six foot seven, so he wouldn't have, see, he'd, he'd be buckling up his knees. He'd his knees to get him into a grave. I don't know what length a grave is. <laughs> A grave is, but it definitely has to be seven foot down for Deirdre's husband to fit in one. <laughs> and the idea is that this would lie on the grave. You know Jackie I mean? is watching over on YouTube. So, and actually, geez, we have 24 people watching on YouTube Jeez, now. Wow. Plateous. So, hey, what I have here is a bit of dried moss, you know, that way. And um, because we couldn't find the moss, I had kind of cocked up, hadn't got it organized. So, it's a little bit dry. So, normally what I would do is dip it in water, but sure, I don't want to get myself dirty here. I'm wearing a new pink top. So, I'm going to rest the moss on the oasis that's showing between the end of the flowers and the, the stalks, okay? So, I'm going to rest the moss in there, and I'm now going to use them little pins. So, it's a bit like, you know, pinning your hair curlers, you know, the way your rollers, okay? And that's what I'm doing onto the moss. Now, people often say to me, well, can I put greenery there? If this was a real hand tied, now I know it's a mock hand tied, a let on hand tied, a mock up hand tied, all them names that you have, right? But if you think about it, that's where the hand tied is held and there wouldn't be any greenery there because just in real life, there's not supposed to be any greenery below where your hand is actually holding it. I just need to turn it around to me just so I can see it better. So what I'm also doing with some of this moss, whoa, a bit of dust over there, is I'm sticking it in between the stems. Do you remember the way I stepped up the stems? So I'm kind of breaking it up. It's very dry, I have to say. And I'm sticking it kind of in between the stems, okay, down there. And then I'm going to get my little pins, okay, my German pins, and I'm going to pin all them on. Now, some of you might be moaning at this stage, and, oh, Joe, don't I like the moss or whatever. I'm not finished. Facebook is glitching a little bit on us. Um, so pop over to YouTube. The, the, it's a, such a better view on YouTube if you're watching on Facebook and it is glitching on you, pop over to YouTube and watch it over there. And the other thing is sh click share now and then like later on when the Wi-Fi kind of fix, you'll be able to watch the whole thing again. Because I know I was saying about working along with me and you're probably saying Jamie Max Speedy Gonzalez there, do you know that way? And actually Leanne over on YouTube, she's actually working with you. Oh, fair play to you, Leanne, fair play to you. So I'm done going to try and kind of clean this spot a little bit. Into, all into the magic bin. There we go, clean it all up just so I don't want to, normally I'm not fussy, but I'll be clean top on today and I want to try and get the day out of it. So we we'll move all that over there. And I can't wipe my hands in my white jeans. Jamie Mac, we're getting very fussy, aren't we? Now, did you get a bit of ribbon out from me? I but did, well, give the hessian or the, I've got purple. Is there any of that dusty pink out there, no? Um, give us the purple anyway in the meantime. They're all, all maybe, yeah. I went behind the screen here, would they see what I'm doing? Well, no, they wouldn't see. This is our magic so, screen. This is our magic Woo! screen. <laughs> Okay, and it's a bit dark, so I'm looking for the dusty thing. There we go. Have you got one? Yeah. All right, perfect. Happy to do the job. So, God, we're very unorganised today. This is what right. happens when you do two lives or three lives no. in a week. No. Okay, so you get your organza. I'm going to use this organza. I'm measuring out, you know, I mean, a good yard. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to get a second one. I'm not going to put the purple into it. I think I'll keep it all the dusty pink. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So we go for this colour here, right? So I'm going to put the two pieces of fabric together, squeeze it all like I'm kind of putting a scarf, you know, that way or I'm going to tie up my hair. And I'm going to make the collarbone. I've showed you loads of times. And by the way, this is going to be too long, but I'll trim it afterwards. So what you do when you're making this bow is you pretend you're wrapping it around your neck and you pretend you're crisscrossing it. So normally I just say it's cold, but it is fucking cold out today, right? So crisscross it, but you can't physically make it around your own neck. 
So round the neck, cross under the chin. Don't worry that the tails are different lengths. I'll fix this all afterwards, okay? Give me pink fingernails. And what you do is you grab the back of it and you bring it down to meet the other hand. You see, kind of like down there. That's the handiest way to do it. Now this might be a little bit tricky for some of you. You need to get a florist wire because you may have seen me doing this before and I tied it with a string and I tied it onto the, the door wreaths, you know, the spring door wreaths and summer door wreaths. Today I'm going to use a wire and I'm going to wrap the wire around it. Now not the whole wire, just the beginning of the wire. So there it is wrapped around and I'm going to squeeze, it's a short bit and a long bit. I'm going to squeeze the guts out of them, so squeeze it in real tight. I'm going to get the long bit of wire and wrap it around that bit two or three or four times, you see, to hold. I'm going to come back around to the front and fluff me loops. Put a bit of hydrolauric, what's a hydro? Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic, you never get that feckin' word. Hyaluronic acid into my organza, into my tongue. Puff it all out there nice and full. Trim the tails, because as you can see, they're miles too long, okay? So pretend I'm in the hairdressers and we can cut across there. My hairdresser was watching, I could do with a bit of a fringe trim at the moment. If you see me in the bar, just bring your scissors with you. We can pop into the toilets. And then the wire that's coming out the other end, I'm gonna fold it over in half into kind of like, again, a hairpin bend. And that wire is going to go down into the moss, okay? Get the feck in there. It's a bit strong, there you go, it's gone in there. And that's going to help kind of camouflage, I know you can see that the sides, but camouflage the moss, okay? My stems coming out the other end, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a trim, but I don't want them all to be the same length, okay? I kind of want it a little bit irregular. And the idea is that our mock hand tied is tied with a bow and our stems, our stalks are sticking out the other end. Now hopefully there's no gaps and there's no bits and so Straighten on. Straighten it up higher. Go straight or straight. Oh, I'm straight. drowned. It. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. There is your grave or your remembrance grave arrangement to go on a grave, go on a coffin, or you can sit it on your own head until you wait till 2064 to Eileen dies. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you got a few tips out of it and a couple of tricks. Again, anybody that's late joining to enter the competition, it's gone in there, so don't grab it. For the hamper of beauty products. Even Blitz Your Bits is included, you know what I mean, for males or females. I think that's going to be the best part of the hamper. Plus, obviously, all the floristry items, okay? We're going to have a little video coming up straight after today's live. And basically, you comment underneath and say why we should pick you. It can be a sad story, a sexy story, a happy story, or just a feckin' a begging story. You can do whatever you want. Tag why you should get the hamper or your sister or mum should get the hamper. And we post that across Instagram, TikTok, YouTube and Facebook. And we're going to pick the winner on Monday. And we'll come on live at 12 o'clock on Monday. We'll announce the winner and we will post that prize out to them. But again, please tag daisybell.ie there in the comments. Pop over to Daisy Bell. If you see something nice on the page, look for the spritz your blitz and um, ask them or just tell them that Case Flair School sent you over, you know, because as I said, they might send something out next week, you know, that way. Fingers crossed. Um, amazing comments coming in. They all absolutely love it. They've really enjoyed the class. Beautiful. Thank you both. Uh, beautiful flare arrangement, yeah, oh, from thanks. all over the world. This is Everyone is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I will. <laughs> Huge thanks to everybody joining. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate the shares. We really appreciate the interaction. You know that sort of way. And like it is good fun. We enjoy coming on here. And it is better than me talking to the camera on my own. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so again, join us. Well, join us Monday for the winner, and she never know. We we'll probably do something on Monday. We'll ah, we might do live. something you small. Know, we'll see. Yeah, know. we probably will. And if not, join us next Wednesday at twelve o'clock for another free live class. Yvette and over on YouTube says, "Unfortunately, I've come on too late, but she's going to go back and rewatch it again." Yvette, yeah, and then you'll be able to watch it on the rewind. Now you know the girl that was asking me about the buttonholes. Are we doing that next Wednesday? We are next Wednesday for the buttonholes. Okay, so wedding buttonholes. Tune in next Wednesday. And I have a special class. And um, just on TikTok, um, Candice says, do you do bridal training? We do. We do. Module three. So if somebody just tags the website, www.flowerschoolireland.com, click on the professional programs, scroll down, module one, module two, module three, and you'll see the full syllabus for bridal floristry. Or drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com I never promote the school all me no. feckin' talking all me feckin' yapping and giving away and I never promote and somebody's asking us do we train no. <laughs> 
okay and just the very last one this is um davo 80 i'm good please shout out i'm from davo city philadelphia big so. big shout out to davo in philadelphia city and um, if you want to invite me and Deirdre over for holidays, just drop us an email, info at clarescoolireland.com. <laughs> and um, two flights, yeah. first class. Oh, business like class, bit, absolutely, like yeah. We a bit Prosecco, and we could bring all our cases and do a bit of shopping and bring all back to duty free. Absolutely. Thanks a million, Dave, for joining us. Really appreciate it. Goodbye, everybody. Have a fabulous weekend. Follow Deirdre on Instagram tonight because she's having a big party in her house, okay? And you never know what shenanigans and what spritz and the bits will be going on tonight. So follow Deirdre <laughs> on Instagram. Good luck. See you all. Bye-bye.